What is up, boys? Your favorite parking lot warrior is back, Eric Buda, with the homie Chris. And uh, we're gonna attempt oh, to pull into Mark's house, and uh, it's a sheet of ice. He's crawling up. Where did you make it to? Right here. Exposing Mark out here today. What's oh, up, buddy? Hey, pal. How are you? It's been a Dude, while. Dude, that's such a sick setup. I need to get that. Dude, fact, it has been a while. It's so nice. This uh, decided to let one subscriber join us. Long today, we flew him out. He won the giveaway. I'm, I'm such a big fan. It's such a pleasure. He single-handedly made all 64 accounts. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Welcome back. It's not even it's a kit car. It's an Altima, he lied to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesus. No, I'm not coming over here. I'm here. No, please stay over there. It's using two tire toes excuse. So we're doing a little bit of an Sorry, insult I didn't today. Know. I picked up a couple parts. Is that gonna help me out? Yep. Forcefully, he has no shame. He owes me lots of money. Who does? I don't know what so I, much money, how so much. He forcefully does slave me He owes me money, no, I don't owe him money. Hey, hi. No, you owe me so much cheap. I'll show there. you the tab right now. Dude. <laughs> so, while we're here too, I gotta help Mark out. He's got a uh, clean exhaust leak that we're gonna be checking out. I think it's a snapped exhaust uh, towards the uh, test pipe to the uh, mid pipe. Dude, the- Look, you didn't fry your ECU. Damn it, Mark! You're really good at breaking stuff. Well, this could just come back out, right? <laughs> yeah, it's hot. It is hot. Yeah. It's hot. So that's what your check engine light for the O2 sensor is. <laughs> that yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Dang, uh, that's causing all that. Loop. How did that even happen? Huh. Dragging on it. So yeah, that's not gonna be that fun. <laughs> Pulling He's studs. Right, what do we, is it a snap stud in there? Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not a snap stud. It's a, uh, it's a like a a destroyed. Stud on the head. It's a cut in half stud. Yeah. Oh, nice. We'll get it out. We can just drill it. That's so easy. Uh, it just sucks because we have to take this back, this off, and this oh is such a pain to put on. What size is this? Hang on, let me help in my Amazon. 140 bucks for this thing. What up? What are you showing us? Uh, you guys, if you want a nice tool for at home, that's a power tool. Right here. Oh, that one's such a I use them at work. I don't own one yet, but 140 bucks for the battery. Oh, yeah, I used, to use, I used to use those when I was uh, building motors. Oh, Bussing. They like rip off valve covers so nice. So, I picked up this solid uh, transmission mount by Torque Solutions along with the. Uh, I've shown this before, but. On the four cooling mod. I gotta put that in eventually. Definitely want that before uh, Lock City Drift starts. Nice. I think so. Oh my god. Size feet manual trans. No. For those of you who don't know, the uh, trans mounts for the uh, STIs or WRXs are the same between the six and the five speed. Literally, it's just the space because the uh, studs are different lengths for the uh, cross members on the uh, for the transmission. So, yeah, no, this thing's pretty nice, dude. Yeah, it looks like Legos. So it looks good. <laughs> what? I'm about her for Torque Solutions. Cool. Sponsor me. <laughs> Is that the one that you have on the other? Or, uh, dude, they sent me two of them. I'm just gonna zip these out real quick and that's the mount there it's like in two pieces it's broken that's why i feel probably so much play from the welded diff i think i'm sure that doesn't help <laughs> well it'll be mint now yeah no i'm pretty hyped to uh, go test that out after just see if i notice anything different right off the rip hopefully yeah. old mount. yeah dude that thing was cooked 
like that thing wasn't even connected. Smoked. Yeah. I'm gonna grab the uh, freshy. Look at that. So much better. <laughs> My bad, I had to get. You just start bigger. Yo, what's he saying? <laughs> He's talking <laughs> shit right here. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. It goes just like this. Yes, sir. If you don't got rags on hand, be a man. Use your use your hand. Yeah, so for the entire job, you literally just need. I cannot see. Oh my god, this guy's got a soap. Oh my god. That's doable. But uh, it's literally just 17s and 14s. Three minutes of your time. Oh, yeah. Uh, kind of glad I'm doing this on the ground, not a lift. Sometimes I feel like working on the lift's a little bit difficult. It's like more straining. Yeah. Like nothing more scary than have a trans, like trying to take the trans out above your head. <laughs> I can't. Like we had a scary time putting this thing in and out. Now you may be asking, Eric. You're gonna use NACs? No. What do you, what do you think we got a fucking there? Milwaukee yeah. gun for? Exactly. I'm not worried about that. This is my most used weapon of choice. This is my most used weapon of choice. Very nicely. You gotta remember, a cross thread is a tight thread, so... Like, when in doubt, impact her out. Why not, you know? Alright, so the uh, new mount is on. Unfortunately, like I said, cross thread is a tight thread for this bolt, so let's not speak on that. But uh, pretty much, once you get this bolted back up, which is just a 4 14 mil, you can just slide your cross member over your downpipe, you know, hang. Most importantly, with the uh, mounts being the same, it comes with this little spacer that you slide between the studs so there's not a uh, gap between here because that wouldn't be good and it would defeat the purpose of the saw. Your hat is so reflective. It's sick, dude. It looks crazy on camera. That's white on camera. Yeah, dude, it's just like chrome. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. But uh, I'll show you this once it's all bolted up. Just uh, put the 17s and the 214s back up and the uh, 214s on these studs and that's it. And then you're going to go get your Honda tune. Maybe I'll see some rips after. Yeah, I might I'm, hit a spot just to see how it feels. I'll follow. I'm, I'm just getting anti-lag taken off, hopefully. And, and then, corrected AFR yeah. on the boost. <laughs> so, just like that, the uh, solid trans mount is in. Uh, it wasn't too bad. Like I said, it probably take just a few minutes to do. Probably like 20 overall. Not that bad. But uh, I'm really hyped because it's something I've been wanting to do. Especially with this, I don't think... I mean, that's not even... Yeah, I mean, this thing was just smoked. It was time. Actually been working on an uh, entire list of uh, parts that I'm saving up for the uh, the winter. So that this thing's ready for Lock City Drift next year. Oh, I'm ready for Lock City. I'm ready to go. You ready for I'm some ready ride to actually do it. Yeah, I'm ready for some ride along. Dude, it's going to be sick. How's this thing coming? Good? Oh, yeah. I was ready for the E36 at the next takeover. <laughs> oh, take over E36. You'll, you'll never see me on one of those. progress yeah it's going good my balloons game is <laughs> popping off <laughs> the whole time I was doing the solid mount Mark's been Mark and Chris have been uh taking turns getting at this stud it is annoying it is yeah annoying. it does not look that fun drilling studs is never fun 
It sucks, unfortunately. Yeah, that's, that's why when I snapped a... Well, it's not, like, terrible. It's just shitty when they're, like, at angles like that. And yeah. you can't, like, straight get to it. That's yeah. when, I, why, when I snapped a bolt in my knuckle. I just bought a new knuckle. <laughs> I feel oh, good. is your transmount done? Yeah. Oh, wow, that was fast. Yeah. I have a cross threaded bolt in the trans now, but it's good. <laughs> it's tight. It's not ever going to come out. It won't ever come out. And it's the bolt that connects the mount to the trans that's sandwiched between the cross member, so oh, it's I'm good. I tell you about that. I don't ever worry about it. So, the man's is back from not getting tuned because we've ran into a new problem. Well, we fixed one oh. thing. You ready? Oh, okay. Yeah. Like the more you know. <laughs> So I fixed one thing and then something else broke. So this thing didn't even need to be tuned. My speed sensor cable was just not connected. You were the reservoir looking low. It's like half full. Huh? Any pedal pressure? Dude, a little bit. And I, it doesn't stick to the floor and I can still slow down. I still have brakes, but this like to the floor it's just like it's as if I'm just using the engine to brake. Yeah. <laughs> How did you get through? No, not yet. Oh, he just fell off? Yeah, I just fell off. Oh. Dang, man. What is this plug you're missing in your trans? I don't know. Keep doing that? Oh, I hear something. I hear it on Ben's side. That's your front. It's like there's stuff coming out of it though, is what I'm saying. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's like a... That's why the trans was leaking all over Kevin's... Yeah, dude. What did I say? I thought I saw a plug I thought you thing. meant the, the sensor that... No, that's that... a hole, dude. I just pulled a thing full of metal out. Alright, okay. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, we gotta talk so, about So, new plot. We just found a hole in Zach's transmission Zach and his brake yeah, line, so... Hell yeah. Dude, this motherfucker is so tall. Like, this is a big ass baby. Talk to me nice or don't this. talk to me at all. Talk <laughs> to me nice. I know what's wrong with it. You ain't got no gas in it. What's up with this thing? He ain't got no gas in it. Yeah, he ain't got no gas in it. No, Mark only wants me to drill because he's no, a freaking I'm going man. To ain't got no brake fluid in it. I'm going to. I'm taking that. Dude, I fixed it. Like, it, it rips. <coughs> But don't then you, I lose brakes. Don't you need it, dude? Be and serious. You find a hole in the train. Don't forget about that. I know it'll fix it. It's rolling forward. Everything jacked up. Dude, that is a fat oh. hole. Press some electrical tape around it. It'll be fun. I hear it. Easy view. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, dude. What is it? Spraying all over the place. So this is the fluid coming out of his trans. Oh my what fucking god. Trans fluid. That hole, I opened that because I thought that was a fill hole and it wasn't, and it had like any seeds, that stuff in it with metal shavings, and that wasn't the fill hole. You see it? It's just oh like, my god. Yeah. Yo, you got some duct tape? So, all the homies. No, Dang. <laughs> I didn't even throw it at you. <laughs> all the uh, homies are heading out to Bristol to get a brake line for Mr. Honda Boy. Now, because he's a big Honda guy now. We gave up on this exhaust stud. That was uh, pretty bad. We just got pretty far through it. It's just insanely tedious. But I think I might try to get a couple test skids on the Rex before I end the video here. But if I do, you know the deal. Tell them the deal, boys. Like, Yo, comment, like, subscribe. Comment. This Christ. Now I have to cut this clip. <laughs> what? Tell them the deal. Enthusiasm this time. Like, comment, and subscribe. Wait, 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 wait. Social vacations and. Yeah, so you guys are you can know the deal. Till the next one, peace oh. out. If there is any <laughs> test clips, I'll throw them in before this. So no, yeah. else, ah, no, my snowball. So just doing like a little test, and like I can already tell, I did like a little U-turn. So 
I figured I'd do a quick little like donut or something, see what happens, see how it feels. I feel like uh, just like driving it around and on uh, some tight. Actually, you know what? This lot looks a lot better. There's a light. so much more fluent like uh, I used to get like a lot of feedback from the drive-through with the welded rear diff and I was really hoping the solid trans mount would do a lot and it definitely is doing what I really hoped it to do and it's getting a lot of, rid of a lot of that feedback on the uh, drive train on tight corners or like wheel hop in general which is super sick because it's gonna help with drifting for sure and it's just something I've needed to do because that mountain has been smoked forever. But I figured I'd film a little outro. And uh, hopefully you guys like the video. You know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe. Until the next one. Peace out.